what are you? Where are you from? Jose, your name's Jose. I think you're Asian, but I'm gonna ask you if you know how to speak Spanish. I first um, recognized race um, in kindergarten. These two girls um, looked at me. I think one of their names uh, was Tammy. Um, she scooted away from me and said, ew, you're Mexican. I do identify ethnically as Filipino-American. No hyphen, two words. One in five Filipino-Americans are mixed. Stop me if you've heard this before. Mother's a nurse, dad is military. My mom is a nurse. I'm Filipino, so I'm a registered nurse. My mom is a nurse, just like almost every other Filipino person. My parents were uh, major anti-Marcos activistas in the Philippines, and so we moved here uh, because of martial law. My parents were actually overseas Filipino workers who worked in Saudi Arabia. I moved to the United States when I was seven years old. My grandfather actually served in World War II as um, part of that compensation, I guess, for fighting for the war and being a POW for the Bata and Death March, they got American citizenship. My dad met my mom through a Peace Corps. Uh, they were working together, he fell in love with her, and he brought her back to the United States. When I moved to New York and started auditioning as an actor, the, the hardest part is that, you know, the, 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 the racism that's thrown around under the shroud of, of just industry talk. It's like, we're looking for Asians, you're not Asian enough. Doesn't matter what department I'm in. I was in sales not long ago, and guess who has to go get the food delivery from downstairs every time? This guy. Another example of colonial mentality in my community that I see is the ways that we define beauty that whiter is better, that skinny is better, that your flat nose isn't cute. When I was in grade school, my friend whose mom, who's Vietnamese, her mom used to not like me because I was too dark. My mom tells me not to go out in the sun and I laugh at her face. Cause I was like, you married a black man. Like, are you kidding me? Whether that be in media or leadership or um, celebrities or anything, the big conversation of what it means to be in America, um, I don't ever really see myself represented in that. What I like about being Filipino, um, um, our uh, appreciation for pork. The food. Uh, chicken adobo, yes. I love that when I, run into someone else that's Filipino, they're almost always somebody's cousin. What's my favorite part about being Filipino is my brains and my butt. The, the humor, like my, my super Catholic aunt, the, the jokes she makes are like so perverted and crass. You know, we come to this country for a life of opportunity that my parents didn't necessarily feel like they had for themselves in the Philippines, and I'm very inspired by that. Like, I want to do well for my people, and I want to do well for the people who, the community that I'm representing. There's nothing to put on the map. We've been on the map. We've been on the map before the Spanish found us on the map. We're finding a collective voice, especially for the Filipino-American experience, and there's so much that we can show you. So come on in. Let's eat.